Welcome back, my duelist friends. Casual duelist here, and it is Monday. So let's start this week off with a non Yu Gi Oh deck. So I went back to my Magic collection. I grabbed out another deck that I think is really interesting, really fun, and definitely fun to play. And I came across my Tamar deck. So, like usual, let me do the land breakdown. And this one's a little more uh, diverse. The Tamar is a tricolor deck. So what we're going to need is we're going to need six forests, because green. We're going to need three, oh, sorry, four copies of the Frontier Biovac. Uh, this comes into play tapped and then can produce one of either of the three mana colors that we are going to require. Then we're going to require six mountains. And the reason we went with the six and six there is because we are playing predominantly the red-green portion. And then we're going to play two each. Of the Rugged Highlands, enters play tapped while gaining you one life. Taps for green or red. And two copies of Thornwell, or sorry, sorry, oh my goodness, Thornwood Falls. Same effect, same life gain, green or blue this time. So, again, it's 6, 6, 12, 4, um, 12, that's 16. It's going to be 20 land altogether. And uh, that's going to lead us to the rest of the deck. For those of you wondering what that clink was, I memorized it by having dice off to the side. Because, you know, whatever works, right? So moving into the creatures, the heavy hitters of our build, uh, we are going to be using two copies of the Avalanche Tusker. And you will notice I have an intro pack uh, art, because I like collecting alternate arts, it's fun. Uh, when an attacks target creature, uh, defending player controls has to block this combat if able. I'm not sure that it has to block this card, just has to block. So again, nice big beefy stats, 6-4. Uh, one of each of the three, then two generic. Good card, great card. Next up, two copies of the Den Protector. Um, creatures with power less than her power may not block her. Uh, she does have Megamorph, so we may cast her as a generic 2-2 face down for three. However, when we pay the Megamorph, we'll flip it up as this card while giving it a 1-1 one, one counter. And when this card is face, uh, turned face up, return target card from graveyard to hand, allowing us to also recycle some of our other spells. So, again, generally just a good card. Got to get some dragons, because again, Targer Block was known for this. We're going to use the Faux Razor Regent. Uh, cast on 7, 4-5 flyer. Uh, when enters play, may have it fight target creature you don't control. What that means, and for the simplicity, let's pull up the previous card. Um, I played my Faux Razor Regent. My opponent has a Den Protector. Um, let's say it has the stats. It's a 3-2. Um, I'm going to have it fight it. It's like having them do their own combat step outside of the combat step. So again, this 3 will get down. So we'll go down to 2. This four will get dealt. It'll be net, it'll take it to zero. We'll go ahead. We'll take that card out, and then uh, at the end of the turn, my toughness will return during that like semi healing phase. Uh, last portion of the effect: whenever a creature you control fights, put two one one counters on it at the beginning of the next end step. That'll make the regent become a six seven. Okay, just for playing it, just for doing the things. So again, it's a little bit of spot control, spot removal, spot combat, maybe. And uh, again, it justifies its cost really rapidly. Again, we're playing green, so you know there's going to be a mana ramp. So we'll get to that here shortly. What are we playing next? Play set of Air of the Wilds. So 2-2 two, two on 2. Death touch. So even if it loses the combat, it will take out the opponent. Ferocious. When this card attacks, if you control a creature with four or more power, it gets an additional 1-1 one, one until the end of the turn. And it's not per creature with toughness, it's just once. So again, it can be a 3-3, three, three, so it's awesome. Next up, and this is another one of those cards where we got the buy a box alternate art, is the Rattleclaw Mystics. And again, I, I kind of like the buy a box art better. Um, this is going to be one of our mana ramps. 2-1 uh, on 2. It does have Morph, so we can play it down for 3, Morph it for 2. When it's turned face up, we can add one of each color to the mana pool of the Temer colors. Or just tap and generate one of e one of those colors. Um, so again, awesome card. Definitely worth playing. 
and uh, play both ways. Because again, situationally, um, it's like going ahead knowing that you're going to get that extra ramp next turn, getting that extra one mana to go ahead and like burst the colors. Uh, we do have a one of with the Savage Knuckle Blade. Is a 4 4 on 3, but the 3 needs to be all 3. And 3 effects. Um, either it gains haste to the end of the turn, you can bounce it to its owner's hand, or it gets 2 2 until the end of the turn. Um, and the 2 2 pump ability is a once per turn. So just can't just, you know, ramp itself up into being a huge monster because it's already kind of huge. But again, one of two shamans of the great hunt. Great Mythic Rare here. Uh, it does have haste. It is a 4-2 four, on 4. Uh, whenever a creature you control deals combat damage, it gets a 1-1 one, one counter. Um, and that'll be the creature that did the damage. And then Ferocious. You pay this cost as long as you have a power of 4 or greater on your side of the field. Again, Shaman of the Hunt counts. Um, again, it'll be either blue-green, then either blue or green, then 2. Draw a card for each creature you control with a power four or greater. So again, it's at least a draw one, but it is based on how big your characters get. We need the con, so we are going to play a copy of Serac Dragon Claw. Uh, he is Flash, so even though he's a creature spell, he may be played any time as an instant. Uh, cannot be countered, so he's making it to the field no matter what. Creature spells you control cannot be countered, so that's kind of goofy. And then all other creatures that you control also have Trample. He's a 6-6 six, six on 5. He is rainbowed out, so it's okay. Um, but again, he's going he's gonna to help you with all the Ferocious. And again, even though he's blue, um, he's going to make it so we can't be countered. So definitely cool. Uh, we are going to be playing our other Mana Ramper. The Whisperer, Whisperer of the Wilds. You're going to play a playset. It is a 2 uh, two mana cost, O2. It is tap, add green. Or a ferocious tap, add two green. So again, creature with four or greater power. And you're producing more mana, allowing us to ramp faster and harder. Then we're going to play two copies of Sova Dragon Claw. And I don't know if you guys have played how to train your, or seen how to train your dragon. Sort of reminded me of the mother. Um, does have trample. So for the Yu-Gi-Oh players, that is like our piercing damage. Um, Magic players, obviously, they already know. Uh, at the beginning of combat, on your turn, you may pay the cost. And again, the uh, the additional two there may be either red or blue per. Uh, if do, gain control of target creature and opponent controls with power less than your Silver Dragon Claw's power till the end of the turn. Untap the creature and give it haste until the end of the turn, allowing her to basically... Tame your opponent's monster and swing with it. Pretty awesome. Pretty awesome. Going into our actual like spell spells now, we are going to run three copies of the Temer's Battle Rage. This instant is cast on two. Target creature gains double strike until the end of the turn. So first and regular strikes. And Ferocious. So we'll also gain Trample if you have a creature with four or more power. So again, that's awesome. Three copies Trap Essence, because you know a deck isn't blue if it doesn't have something to counters. Uh, counter target creature spell, put two 1-1 one -one counters on up to one target creature. So again, you can counter spell while powering up your own cards. Very goofy, very unique, very awesome. We're going to be playing three copies of Wild Slash. Um, generically, does two damage to target creature or player. If uh, ferocious and you control a creature with four or more, damage cannot be prevented this turn. So again, it just gets better. Just gets better. The Winds of Calcima. Calcisma? Calcima. I'm not sure, guys. Correct me in the comments. We're going to play a playset. Prevent all combat damage that we've dealt this turn. So essentially, it's Fog. Uh, we do get the extra one cost, though, because Ferocious, if you control a creature with four or more power, instead, prevent all combat damage that we've dealt this turn by creatures your opponent controls so in this instance this would activate more like the wubaku trap card of Yu-Gi-Oh. our monsters will still be able to deal damage so just makes ours invulnerable for the turn so anything that they blocked they'll lose their blockers we don't lose our attackers it's a win-win last card we're going to be using 
three copies of this Savage Punch. And again, this is how he's going to get his coat of the bear. Um, target creature you control fights target creature you don't. So remember our dragon at the beginning? You can do this and gain extra counters. Ferocious, uh, target creature you control gets 2-2 until end of turn before it fights. If you control a creature with power 4 or greater. And again, just let's get back to Serac, right? Where'd he go? So he's going to get his coat, my friends. So that is that is his bear. And uh, again, while you are using the Faux Razor Regent, the creature you control fights, put two 1-1 counters on it at the beginning of the next end phase. So it'll get to keep that 2-2 that you got here as long as the region is in play. And oh my goodness, it lets you spot control like crazy. So that is my Temer deck. And again, kind of like a block build. I do hope that you guys enjoyed it. If you have, do the things if you want to. You're, you're under no obligation, guys. And again, just remember, no matter what, I want you guys to have a great day. It's Monday. I've got another deck video coming out. It's not a deck. It's a single card. It's a deck master for Yu-Gi-Oh! Hopefully you guys will stop by to see that, even if you don't. Have a great day. Start the week off right. And hopefully I'll get to see you guys again next time. Later.